I have this denim jacket that it's really cute, but you know when you wear something for too long and you're just like, all right, time to change it up. So I haven't used it in a couple of years, um, but then I came across this beautiful skirt that we don't know where it came from. My daughters don't know. It was brand new. I took the tag off the other day and I actually, um, I think I used a little piece in one of my workshops. But anyway, so look at this beautiful lace. Look at this beauty right here. I don't know about you guys, but I super love lace. I think it's beautiful. I think it's elegant but fun at the same time and you could do so so much with it right so this is my idea you guys okay i'm going to open this panel yeah we're going to cut that off you see how there are all these seams back here so this middle panel i'm going to cut it and i'm going to try to do the same here we'll see what we can do here and I am going to do something with the sleeves. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut right here and right around the seam. And you know, we are crafters. So you know this, I'm not throwing this piece out because we just, we're not doing that. Of course, there's lots of different things that we could do with this, right? So, I'm going to cut this off. So, if you are not a sewer and you don't particularly care for the sewing machine, right? Then, <coughs> you can definitely use fabric glue. I want to get a piece so that I don't have to waste too much of this beautiful lace so yeah right there okay you can definitely use fabric glue um or i don't know you guys for some reason i okay so let's say it this way um oh diane don't worry i got you guys all covered i got you covered so, um, I, I have had bad experience with fabric glue and this was a few years ago. So I don't even know if it's fair for me to judge based on that. But, um, I love this B7000. This is what it is. It's called B7000. And this is amazing on any type of material. You guys, since I discovered it, I have been using it. Um, okay, totally dazzled. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I've used it on every surface from wood to plastic to um, styrofoam. Uh, and I've used it with fabric. I used it with um, diamond. I used it with everything. You guys, when I tell you that I use this thing, for everything so that's the other option of something that you can um that you can use okay hey cara how are you sweet friend um so this is what i want to do okay i want the back of my denim jacket to have the lace. Now, if you are sewing it, it is entirely up to you whether you want to sew it on the outside of the jacket or if you want it to go under, okay? I prefer to go this way. So I'm just going to gently pin. Okay. This is so pretty. I, I, mm, we don't like that pin. Okay. 
So first I like to do my sides. And this, to be honest with you, you guys, it's a lot easier to do this um, on a dress form, on a mannequin, however you want to call it, than, than to do it here. But like I said, I really didn't want to um, switch the camera too many times. And I was like, nah, it's just not, you know, a good thing. So that's too long. So we're going to make that a little shorter so that we can fold it underneath. Um, okay, there we go. Just give it a gentle fold. I'm folding under maybe like a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And I'm not doing it crooked, is that I have the jacket. <laughs> Okay, on the table. And another thing that I usually do when I'm using lace or something that, you know, could get a bit annoying to sew or difficult or sliding here and there, um, I start sewing from the center. And once the center is set, then I'm okay to just sew whatever, okay? That's how I usually, hey, Avenel. I know, right, Kara? And that's why I like it so much. It's classy, it's elegant, but it's also fun, you know? It's also fun. And then, you guys, I'm going to tell you, you know what I did? Because I was like, hmm, lace, denim, Nadia. We need some diamonds. <laughs> So I ran downstairs and I'm like, I have to start the live. But I ran downstairs and I grabbed a few things just so that I can um, show you guys. The other thing I'm doing, you guys, if you are sewing this, as we all know, the denim has a very thick seam. So I'm going to be sewing it right on the outside of that. I don't want to go over the bump because unless you have the denim needle that could result into an issue right so even though i do have that needle set on my machine i prefer just to go right on the outside of that seam to avoid any issues and the same right here on the bottom so i'm going to go right below Okay, I'm going to do Okay. You see, you guys see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? And I'm just going to keep adjusting. This is where you will go nicely, right, and start gluing. And what is great about this, you see it has a little, where am I, a little pointy right there. So it doesn't come out all in one book. It's a very nice line. All right. 
And like I said, I always like, now this is a bit awkward to sew, right? Because we have all of this. So you got to make sure when you put it under the machine that it's nice and laid flat. Um, can you guys see me? Yes. I can see comments from here though, you guys. So I'm going to gently pass all of it under my machine and bring it to the side. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I usually do. See, like the glue needs a bit more time to set and we don't have that kind of time. So, come on, baby. No? There we go. Okay. So then what I do is I roll this up so it's out of my way. And as you can see, ouch, that pinched me. I'm starting from the center of our back square. And always double check that your pins are not in the same direction. So I'm just going to quickly, can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, quickly switching my pins so that it's easier to take them out. Ouch. Take them out. Okay. And can you guys see? Okay. So roll this up so it's out of your way. And again, it is a bit uncomfortable. I am using a stray stitch. And back stitch a little bit and just keep on going slowly I do this slowly um, and bring it down and let's hope that that glue is not going to mess up our needle nice and slow over the hump you want to make sure that um, there we go. I'm going to bring my needle down, lift my foot, and turn my work gently so that I can do the bottom part. And again, I am, I am not sewing where the thick seam of the denim is. I'm going to read all your comments, and if you have questions, I will answer all your questions, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't move my iPad. Bring that down. Take out my pin, which I could have left it because of the positioning, but I'd rather not because we are dealing with denim. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long. <laughs> for so long. Hey. Okay. And bring it down. Turn our work. Now here is where we do pay a bit of attention because we do need to roll up all our extra. And... Nice and gentle, and keep on going. Okay, this is nice and positioned. And we go. We go, go, go. Take your time, straighten everything up. There we go. We are at the top. One more, baby. There we go. And turn. Oh my gosh, this is coming out so cute. So you see, we took two different 
pieces of clothing and making some really cool with it, right? Making something really, really cool with it. And I'm going to pull, pull just a, a stray stitch. Taking your time. And look at that. You will never look at a lace skirt the same ever again. And I just um, pulled my thread. So sometimes also, you guys, the, um, the, the denim has the, that color thread that you can, uh, use, right? And oops, my jacket didn't have it. So I'm just simply using, come on, baby. Um, I'm simply using the, um blue on the one side and of course i have 14 different types of tools to thread my machines but i left them all downstairs so just give me a second here and this is going to make me cuss a little bit there we go. and of course my long nails don't help <laughs> okay so yeah, if you want to use that, I forget the name of that color, you guys, but you know what I mean. Okay, let me switch my pins on this side. This we don't need because, okay, so here now again, we're going to turn and make sure, oops, oops, nice and gentle. So let me get the sleeve out of the way and we are going to roll this up. Strain everything out, fix our everything, make sure that it's all nice and straight, and off we go. A little bit more in, we're done with that. And this is where we started. There's no bunching. There is no nothing. Backstitch a little bit. And the back is done. Look how easy and quick, you guys. And now, of course, gently we're going to remove everything. And let's see. Let's see what came out. I'm going to switch you guys again. Sorry. And now I'm going to read all the comments, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I had you here. Sorry. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Debra. Oh, my gosh. Darla, thank you so much. Oh, you guys. Fusible tape. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> thank you, Susie. Okay. So look at that, you guys. Look how pretty now the back of my jacket is. Look at that. Let me see what time it is. 1.35. We got 10 minutes. I can just show you. Um, I'm going to do the same right here. So I'm going to cut right here. Right here. And I mean, really, honestly, you can cut whatever you want and do whatever you want. It, you don't even have to stop at what I'm doing. Um, I can't wait to put it on the dress form so you guys can really get a full <laughs> look of what I'm trying to do. See, and we're going to put the lace right there as well. And I think this little piece actually... 
this because it's already gathered. You see how that's made? That could be cute on the sleeve, and I don't even have to do anything to it. Look at that, you guys. So I am not going to touch. This is the underskirt. We are not touching that, baby, because that's perfect <laughs> for the sleeves. So I'm going to take this little piece. It's too much anyway, but... Oh, thank you. Right, Lorraine? Just something different, something, you know... Uh, that's the wrong side, and this is the right side. Yeah, that's def actually we're gonna make both out of this one piece. We are not wasting our lace. No, sorry. <laughs> we got too many pretty things to make with our lace, right, guys? So that will go here, and of course I will follow the shape of our pretty thing here. You know, you guys, when you're, when you're used to working a certain way, it's like, I'm used to working on the dress form. So, besides the fact that, of course, the kitchen table is too low, you know, compared to my cutting table. So, of course, it plays on your back a little bit. Oh, thank you. Hey, Lisa. How are you? Oh, thank you, Susie. We really appreciate when you sprinkle us. It helps. It helps. So look at that. I can't wait to show my daughter. I can, you know what she's going to say? You guys, you know what she's going to do, right? She's going to be, hey, mom, can I have that denim jacket? That's exactly what she's going to do. I promise you guys. I'm telling you, that's, <laughs> that's what she's going to do. Okay, so now we're going to go. I'm really doing it rough here because we don't really have a lot of time, but so I want to show you something else, you guys. So this is going to be folded here. I made that too tight, so I got to fix that. And when I wear this jacket, all of you can say, hey, I know how you made that. <laughs> You can say that you know how to make that, right? This, we need to loosen it up a little bit. And so this seam here is going to go a little bit on the collar, which is double fabric. So you want to be careful when you're sewing that. You would definitely want to make sure that you have... Um, um, a denim needle on your machine. And guys, honestly, uh, uh, even when I didn't need glasses to see, um, my mom always said, nah, just wear a pair of glasses because you never know when that needle might decide to poof. So this is going to go something like that on both sides of the front. Look how pretty that's going to be right under the collar. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Right? Thank you, Gail. All right. So, of course, because my name is Nadia and I like to zhuzh things up and... So oh, I have this very pretty scalloped edge, very delicate um, ribbon that it's not wired. And do you see how it has a little bit of polka dots? It, and the, the scalloped part of it, am I in the camera? The scalloped part of it, it looks like lace. I, don't, I hope you could catch that detail in there. Um, but this is what I was thinking. And you put a flare of pink to it and you know of course you guys know me with the pink so that will look really cute but 
Of course, there is many different things you could do because lace, pearls, all of that, nah, those are too small anyway. But in with a little bit more love and really zhuzh this up. I mean, come on, you guys. All right, you guys. So now we're going to start doing our shoulder part and we just going to underpin just like we did pin and making sure that our lace goes about a quarter of an inch under fold. So we have that pretty seam right there and just cutting the other side inside the panel. And then placing our lace measuring and pinning which is very important so that once we get to the sewing machine it's easy to go because like i said before the jacket is a bit awkward to move around the sewing machine so we want to make sure that our lace is pinned properly okay once we get to the sewing machine, we're going to start from an easy side to insert and backstitch a little bit. And I always try to go a little slow, um, although the video is a little faster. <laughs> and once you turn your work, roll your other parts in so that you have a clear path for your machine to go on and sew the right way so that your lace is nice and flat. And always double check your thread. You saw me backstitch over there one more time is because I kind of lost my thread in the way. <laughs> so, and again, turn your work nicely. Flatten your lace so that once it's sewed in, it looks nice. And the collar is double folded denim, so you want to be a little careful here. Make sure you are using a denim needle or anyway, a needle for heavy fabric so that you don't run into issues. The other side of my shoulder has the button, so you kind of want to be a little careful right there. I did use my um, short scissors to help me gently move the button. However, when you do that, be careful that your scissors don't get caught on the needle or on any parts of your sewing machine. And again, just go around and now that's the double folded collar and you wanna be careful right there. Fold your work as you go along. And sometimes when we are pinning our work down, we don't pay attention to what side our pins go. So always double check. Now it's time to do some with the sleeves. I wasn't sure, I didn't know, but I decided to cut them off. Uh, the skirt had an a, um, under skirt which was already a little gathered and ruffled and it looked really pretty and it just... I don't know, it seemed perfect for my sleeves. So I cut, um, I measured at eight inches and made a straight cut eight inches from the top shoulder seam and two and a half inches from the under arm. And I left about um, half an inch seam allowance 
So I don't have to mark, I don't have to measure, I don't have to do anything. I could just take my lace and sew it on. And I did the same on the other side just to get an idea. <clears throat> but again, knowing that I only left a half an inch seam allowance, I know for sure once I go and stitch my uh, lace on, of course, double check my measurements. And that's the underskirt. You see that? And it looks pretty. It's ruffled. It's just perfect for the sleeves. So that's what we're going to use it for. And I'm leaving about an inch of the material that it's attached to because it does roll up a little bit. So I wanted to make sure I had enough to grab while I was sewing. And all I did, you guys, I took part of this underskirt and... I put right side of my arm to the right side of my lace. I folded in the end a little bit so that I could stitch it together once we go all around. See, once we flip it over, then both right sides are showing and the seam is hidden. So two right sides together. And we're going to stitch it up. Look how pretty that looks. So once I got to my sewing machine, I did remove the um, arm so that I could fit my sleeve perfectly right there. And that's it. And went around. taking my time, always taking my time. I used to like sew in a rush and then there was always a mistake. And, you know, of course it takes more time to undo it and redo it. <laughs> so once we got to the end, I left about um, a half an inch and went on the wrong side of my lace, put the two sides together matched it up at the bottom. And the best part of using this part of the skirt is that the hem was already done, so I didn't have to worry about that part. And so now we close the arm on the bottom. Cut off the extra. and sew that down nicely, making sure that there was no bunching, no pleating, no nothing. And we repeat the same thing to the other side. Two right sides together. And knowing that I cut the sleeve the same size as the other one, I really didn't have much measuring to do. And then cut off the extra. 
put the two wrong sides together, close it together, and we are done. And this is our final product, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys soon.